Hi, my name is Tom and welcome at XPB. I'm going to be your instructor for today and if you have any questions at the end of the video, please ask us, we are happy to help. You can find our information right here. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a hierarchy for this model. For this phone, I want some basic features like changing the color of the outside, also changing the wallpaper image and also turning off and on the logo on the back. To create these questions and material groups, we're gonna work with nodes. In 3ds Max, they are called dummies. In other programs, they can be named something different. For instance, in Maya, you can use groups. All these nodes together will create what we call the hierarchy of the model. Inside of this hierarchy, you're gonna define what your questions are, what your options are, what your math groups will be. And with this hierarchy, it will be really easy to set up your model inside of XPV without doing much extra work. To start the hierarchy, I have already created this node. This node depicts a material group, so it's MAT, then a underscore, then the name of the material group, and then again, an underscore and the E for end. Inside of this node, I'm gonna put all the objects that are going to change the same material. So for instance, this is gonna be the back part, also the side body, and the front edge. I also want to create another math group. So let's duplicate this one, make sure it's a copy and change the name. I want to make, create a math group that changes the plastics accordingly to the color of the outside body. So I'm gonna call it material group, plastic and end it. Inside of this one, I'm gonna put the plastic outer ring, just drag it in, and that's it for this group. I also want to create another math group for the screen, so to change the wallpaper, I'm just gonna call this one wallpaper, select OK, select the phone screen, put it inside of the math group. For the logo, I'm going to create a question. So what I can do is create another dummy. Make sure that it's centered in the world. I'm going to call this one CAT for category. Underscore the name, so in this case logo. And also end it with an E. Inside of this category, I'm gonna create some options. So I can just duplicate this one, change the name to option, so OPT underscore, and then I'm gonna create on and a off function. Just duplicate it again, change the name to off, and drag these both inside of the logo. Then I'm gonna take the logo itself and also drag it inside of the on function. I'm gonna leave the off function empty and this will make sure that there is no logo inside of it. The rest of these will stay outside of the hierarchy because they won't be used in any kind of questions or math groups. And this is how you set up a very basic hierarchy for a simple model. As a final step, I want to export this model to a FBX file format. This will make sure that it will keep in the hierarchy. And I'm gonna call this model phone one and save it. Inside of the FBX exporter settings, 
you can uncheck the animations because we won't be needing these and we select OK wait for it to finish if you get a warning just check what it will say in this case it's not exporting the TIFF file for the screen but we don't need that one thank you for following along in this lesson and I hope to see you in the next one